Um, this time I'm back with um, colored, whoa, color comparisons of all of my Jameson wigs. And what makes Jameson my absolute favorite 100% wig of all time? Excuse, um, I'm looking a little messy because when I was bringing these wigs downstairs, they fell. So I I'm very clumsy. So I had to like all shove them back in, in the boxes before Chippy got to them. So yeah, welcome, welcome to my life. Welcome to my accident prone Joan life. So here we go. Here's all my Jamesons and trust me, there will be more. Oh yes, there will be more. So let's get right to the point. This color that I'm wearing, I just did a review on it. Oh my God, oh my God. Wait, hold on. I just, why can't I be like other wig reviewers? Let's just drop everything again. This time, this time everything fell on the floor. I'm just like so, I'm so pathetic but I'm pathetic in a lovable way. So anyway, let's start off with, this is my latest Aesthetica wig. This is Jameson in the color R612H. And she is a great transitional color for the fall. She's gonna be a great winter color and I just love her. So let me take this off because you have seen her in a previous review. But I want to touch on what makes Jameson my favorite wig. Jameson is my favorite wig because I can always count on her to just look on point. Once I put her on my head in the morning, I don't have to fuss with her the rest of the day. The fibers aren't going to um, lose their shape. She always has a certain amount of fullness, which I like. It's not like full like this, but it's just a very good dense fullness. And I love that. So while I'm gabbing away, let me open another Jameson. Now, this is Jameson in the color R1226 H. She's a lighter color. I think, I guess you would say she's more ashy, but regardless, I still love her. Like there's nothing that I don't love about my Jameson. Hold on. So I am gonna put her on right in front of you and I'm gonna adjust her right in front of you. But see how, see how you get a different look and a different vibe just by a different color. She's the same wig, but a different color. And look, hold on. And regardless of whether people say to use a wide tooth comb, you can use these plastic brushes with these little plastic ends. It's not gonna ruin your wig. Just take good care of your wig. Wash her not too often because I do not wash my wigs that often, but look at this color. Now, I have black hair originally, like that's my color, but this color looks like I went to the salon and had highlights. I freaking love these lighter colors. And I think for the summer, they're absolutely beautiful, especially when you have a tan. Um, any tan that I have on my face is gone because the past few weekends, the weather's been crappy. So um, yeah, that's it. I do have darker makeup on, but it doesn't show up in my natural lighting by the window in the little nook off my kitchen. Let me show you um, what she looks like from the side, even though I do that with every wig, but I just really like this color too. So here we go. That's my right side. And here we go. This is my left side. 
And here's the back. So, you can see why this is my favorite wig of all time. There's, like, in my opinion, she's flawless. And I think with the shape of my face, she just looks so great on that sort of square face. The front isn't graduated at all. It's just a lovely, lovely, lovely shaped bob. And I actually think she looks better in person than on the stock card. So this was Jameson in R12 26H. Now, I'm going to take her off. See, that's my original color with dye. Okay, I'm going to take her off. I'm going to turn her inside out. I am going to put a net back on her. And I'm going to place her back in the box because that's how I take care of all my wigs. Okay, now, which color is this? Hopefully, if I put her back in the correct box, hold on, let me pull that down a little bit. This should be Jameson RH12 26RT4, which is, this is the blondest of the highlighted ones, and she's also adorable. So let me put this on. Now I happen to love the dark roots. Let me adjust her. I'm adjusting the ear tab, moving her up a little on my very low forehead. And as you can see, you don't need a lot of manipulation to get this wig to fall correctly. Hold on. Now I'm blonding a little bit more, but I love the darker roots. Check out, I know the parting space. It's not even because I am not that perfect person, but look at the parting space and look at the hairline. It's very, very, very natural. And this color is another great color. I don't think there is a bad color for Jameson. The one color that I do want to try in Jameson is Vogue. It's like a burgundy, like not purple, but it's like a burgundy, a dark burgundy, very similar, I think, to the Envy wig that I have in the color, um, I think it's chocolate cherry. I have to check it out, but I could possibly do a color comparison on those two wigs. But look, I mean, there's not a bad thing about Jameson. I love the like the fullness is great. And this is a very ladylike wig. I can go anywhere from Philly's mainline to Soho in Manhattan. And I'm going to blend because my hair is just so blendable. It's always going to look good. I can actually wear this to my daughter's wedding. Or I can wear it, like, I, which I do. I wear it to the office all the time. But basically, my thing is, it's a versatile wig. You can wear Jameson anywhere. And that's one of the things that makes her my absolute favorite, favorite wig of all time. Now, hold on. I'm going to show you the first Jameson that I ever bought. And that's in Paramel Kiss. This is the wig that started my love affair with Aesthetica. Hold on. I'm back. And I like the way this looks when it's a little messy. It looks very undone. I think if Bridget Bardot had a bob, 
this is the one that she would have. Okay, so let me turn her inside out. I'm kind of a stickler about turning my wigs inside out when I store them because I store them in the boxes and I always put the net back on them because I think the net helps to protect them. Take the time, it, it like takes 30 seconds. Take the time out to put your wigs back nicely and correctly. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try my first Jameson. And I still have her and she still looks great. And I got her back at the end of January. So it's January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Okay, so like six months of constant wear and she still looks fabulous. And the color is Caramel Kiss RT4, which he's Caramel Kiss with a rooted color of that brown number four. So I haven't worn this one in a while, actually. So I'm so glad to have you back, my little, my little first Jameson. I love you so much. That's right, you're my girl. Okay, so let me put her on. She's actually smelling good too, because when I washed her last time, I used Woolite and I used a very inexpensive hair a fabric conditioner from Walmart. I mean, I didn't spend a lot of money on, I think I spent like $2 for a fabric conditioner bottle like that big. So, okay. This is the wig that started my love affair with Jameson. Oh my God, hold on, let me just adjust the ear tabs because mama's cross-eyed and mama has bad eyes to begin with. So here we go. Here she is, my first Jameson. It's like having that first bra or that first pair of thong underwear. You just fall in love with them. So here we go, this color. I love the Caramel Kiss RT4. It's a darker rooted color, but that Caramel Kiss, man, I'll tell you, she, she does it for me. And this is a great, 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 great wig for the winter as well. I don't know, there's just something about the color, Caramel Kiss, that I absolutely love. But I just want to touch on favorite wigs. For me, I've always, always wanted my bio hair to be able to be worn in the perfect bob. And because my bio hair is coarse and wiry and just like doesn't behave, I was never able to achieve this look with my bio hair. The only time I was able to come close to achieving it was during the middle of the winter when there was absolutely 0% humidity, the air was totally dry, I would wash and condition my hair, put my hair in big rollers like this, then wait for it to dry a bit, then blow dry it, and because my hair is so porous, it would take me over an hour to blow dry it, then put the hair back in rollers, then take it out in rollers, and then when I go outside, pray to our fathers, one Hail Mary and an act of contrition for being so vain and hope that the weather would comply and that it wouldn't rain or snow and my hair wouldn't go out like that. So you can understand one of the reasons why this wig is my all-time favorite because it is the bob that I always wanted and was never able to achieve. The other thing is, even though I've had this particular Jameson for six months, she hasn't shed at all. Um, other brands that I've had, especially, I, I was kind of surprised that the Kai 
from Renee of Paris um, does shed because it is a well-made wig and I do like it a lot, but the one flaw that I have with it is that it really sheds a lot and I just got it. So this is Jameson. This is my old, my original Jameson and she's still looking good. So that's it. If you have a favorite wig, um, write in the comments what your favorite wig is and why it's your favorite wig. Because I think it would be fun to have a conversation going on about why certain wigs are our favorites. Um, I know I don't have a lot of followers, but if you follow, if you follow my channel, maybe we can get into a decent conversation about our favorite wigs. Because personally, to me, for my personal taste, and I have a lot of wigs, and I wear all my wigs, and I wouldn't wear my wigs if I didn't love them. But Jameson is special to me because it is my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite wig. And I hope and pray that Aesthetica never discontinues her because I think for a lot of women, this is the absolute perfect bob. So that's it. And I will see you later and enjoy the day. If you like it, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. And that is it. Take care.